So today is a big day. Hoy es el gran día. We're going to be working on the Easter bags. Uh, over 3,500. Vamos a estar trabajando en las bolsas de Easter. Vamos a hacer más de 3,500 bolsas. So, ya está el equipo aquí súper emocionado. Everybody's here all excited. Ya hay un buen número de personas. There's a great number of people here. Comencemos. Let's get started. So adentro de este edificio hay un sinnúmero de personas trabajando, armando las bolsas y después las traen a la parte de afuera y aquí las colocan en estas um, en esas líneas con el nombre de la iglesia que se las va a llevar y la iglesia viene y simplemente las agarra y se las lleva para ellos poder hacer el alcance en su iglesia. Inside the building there's hundreds of people working and preparing the bags and then they bring them outside, they put them into these rows and there's a, a row per church all lined up down. They're going to keep on bringing more um, bags out, preparing them for the churches. See, what had happened was that he forgot his Raider hat, so he brought the Rams hat. That's what really happened, because, because God knows that the Raiders are going to win this year. I know that this is not the first video that I do on Crew. Crew is one of those ministries that has evangelism at the heart. They don't care if their name is placed on the banner or if you give them credit or not. They just want to make sure that they equip the church to be able to do the job. They're just obsessed with the Great Commission and how they can help others to be able to accomplish that. And so if you haven't thought about joining Crew in the effort of evangelism, I really, really encourage you to do it and do it today. But look at the description below and I'm going to put more info on Crew and how you can contact them and be part of it next year or in the next coming events that they have. Ahora, yo sé que he hablado de Crew en muchas ocasiones. Cada vez que nos reunimos con Crew para poder desarrollar eventos y para poder hacer alcances como este, sigo viendo la deficiencia en colaboración con iglesias hispanas. Y no es tanto el ministerio de Crew, yo estoy en el deseo de poder trabajar con ustedes. So yo le animo y lo seguiré diciendo hasta que vea estos lugares llenos de iglesias hispanas trabajando juntamente con el ministerio de Crew. Porque son herramientas que Dios ha provisto para nosotros, simplemente que no estamos haciendo lo suficiente para encontrarlas. Pues tú no tienes una excusa. Si estás viendo ese video y dices, es que mi iglesia no es grande, es que no tenemos el dinero, es que no tenemos los recursos aquí hay un ministerio que está dispuesto a ayudarte a trabajar contigo, a echarte la mano que no quiere crédito, que no quiere ir a tu iglesia hacer una presentación, aquí el único tomando video soy yo, ellos no están tomando video de absolutamente nada, ¿me entiendes? ellos tienen el deseo de poder trabajar contigo so, si no te has unido a trabajar con Crew todavía hazlo, mira la link en la parte de abajo y vas a ver más información de cómo poder unirte con ellos, I mean you gotta do this, this is something great yes ma'am, CFA, correct? Yes, 75, we're calling you next Next. You pull up your car and we'll load it and then you just park it back. Sounds good. So, sigo yo. It's a mess. I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah. You good? I'm good. They're all in there. Está todo ahí. Oh, how great is our God. Oh, see how great. We serve a God that can take a bag of candy and toys and change lives. Amen. 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 All right, so in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and He created man and woman. And this right here exemplifies humanity. Everything was, was beautiful. There was no sin. The, the lives of, the, of Adam and Eve were clean. They got to spend all the time they wanted with God. They got to eat whatever they wanted except for one tree. God said, I love you so much, but look, you can't do this. You cannot eat from this one tree tree. And so while God was not in the garden with them, they decided maybe God doesn't know what's best for me. So they went and they took the fruit and they ate it. And you know what happened? Something happened in their lives. When they did something that was against what God told them to do, suddenly their lives became filled with dirt inside. And even today, we also have the same dirtiness inside of us, and it's called sin. So what are some examples of sin? Lie. Lie. What else? Steal. Fight. All of those things. 
just fill us with more and more dirt. So this is Jose here. Jose, he did all of those things you just said. And you know what? The good thing is that God knew that this was how Jose was going to be. He knew that all of us were going to have to have this, this dirt inside of us. The dirt gets all in, all the nooks and crannies. It's not compartmentalized in like one of our little rooms in our house. It gets all in us. But God knew that we needed help. And that's why he, he chose to have Jesus come live among us. And he also died. In Easter, we celebrate that Jesus sacrificed. He, he loved us so much that he died, took all of this dirtiness upon us, and then rose again to clean us. But each of us has to say yes to Jesus. So Jose was, was like, you know what? I need somebody to clean me. So he asked Jesus to come inside. But you know what? Jesus doesn't just sit inside of us. He wants to stir up and get into all those nooks and crannies. All of those. And to clean them. But you know what? Jose still did some sinning. You know, he lied to his mother. He hit his sister. But you know what? He asked Jesus again to come and clean those sins. And he continued. So you can do that too today. Uh, PDH Ministries, my name is Victor Kasul. We're from uh, Desert Range in Downey, California. My name is Chris. Uh, my name is uh, Susan from Praise Chapel Florence Community. Hey, my name is Glenda Watson and I'm coming from MMDA. I'm part of City Church Compton. David from uh, Side by Side. City Meets Church, Monterey Park, Jose Reyes. Raul Pedroso from Hope Network, Torrance, California. Uh, Brother Johnny, you know, I come from the from the Victory Outreach Ministry. You know, we're from West Tech right now. You know, I come from the city of Chino, but you know what? God's good, you know, because he transformed a, a gang member into to a gang member for him, you know, to save souls. Right. Jesse, Brother Jesse, city of Boston, Truro County, brought me out of the doctor, gave me light and hope. When I said sling dope, I'll restore lives instead of destroying them now. Now you slang hope. There you see it.